my euphobia Millie is finally blooming I put you through the ringer haven't I hang on careful I'll just remove this one there you go so I really have to <laughs> I can't help it <laughs> OCD OCD <laughs> Hang on. There you go. You look better. Can I see dry leaves? No more. Isn't she gorgeous? Good morning, my lovelies. Hello, hello. Okay, I need to clean that mirror. I can't see myself. Okay, coffee time. Mm. Look at this weed. This is considered a noxious weed in New South Wales. We are in ACT in Canberra, Australia. And in parts of Australia, a lot of the parts of Australia, they are considered a pest invader. Uh, it grows in bushlands and they're everywhere, but <laughs> they're not everywhere. Here I am. I'm always out in the bush and on the lookout for them, but I can't see them. So certain parts of New South Wales, apparently, in Queensland, they are... Hang on, what's that growing down there? They are a pest. Okay, that piece of uh, wood there, I picked that up because it looks like a jaw or a chicken rib. in it? Driftwood, but beautiful. Now, this is my very hardy Kalankowi Brosfeldiana, and it's also flowering. It needs a little bit of water and some wash. It's still got some dust on it. Uh, we, we get really bad weather this year, I don't know. Oh, Lediboria Sabrina. That's also a succulent because it's got uh, bulbs. And look at that, it's flowering. This actually dies down, hang on, I don't know if you can see that. This died down in winter, and a lot of people make the mistake of throwing them out. Just leave, leave them alone, let them be, give them time to adjust. I can see the bulb on the edge there. Yeah, so, and they come back and a bigger flower coming out. Which of these things belong together? I'm still meant to pot up those cactus here. I love, 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 love this ones. Okay. Jimna Kalisio Mihanovici has so many faces. See, look at that. One, two, three, four. So there's the four faces of, four face, of Jimna Kalisio Mihanovici. Okay, I just don't forget where you put your coffee. And that one is an experimentation of uh, all of these are all... They all have the same soil mix. They all have the same soil mix, even that one. The only difference is the dressing. So I tried putting a dressing on this one. So this is uh, a small version of this one. So this one's got three heads and that one has got only one head. And I put the dressing I put on top as zeolite. Okay, so I'm experimenting on different dressings because someone suggested that they use not suggested but they mentioned that they use zeolite so i thought yeah i'll try it out and see how it goes so you can see look down there is my master soil mix you see the soil so the only difference is the zeolite so zeolite from what I've researched and my understanding of it is that you're meant to only use about 5% of your soil mixture. So it's the nutrients and the minerals in the zeolite, which is good for the plant, but too much of it can kill it. So there you go. So a pity. No, I don't want to kill more plants. I was just thinking, oh, should I do more experiments? No, no, we leave it at that. So, zeolite, uh, use with caution. So, I don't know, this is actually, uh, I got the zeolite from a hydroponics. So, it's not the cat litter or anything like that. So, this is a proper hydroponics wherein you put for growing plants with water. Water. Okay, water nut. Oh, my Asaka. Hello, Asaka. Leaf grown Echeveria Asaka. Look at that beautiful. Okay, the reason why 
Hang on. This is just... Oh, hang on. Let's say hello to the birdie birdie first. Hello, birdie birdie. Hello, I got a bird. I got a purple bird sitting on this nest of Ripsalis. Look at you. Look happy. And got... What have you got? You got a crassula and a watch chain and Sedivaria green rose. There you go. I leave you there. So taking center stage, isn't it? Like you walk in here and that's what you see. Little birdie birdie. Thank you, Teresa. She actually made that. A new friend. See, it's good. You meet new friends. You grow succulents. You meet new friends. And they give you pretty stuff. Oh, look at this Ionium kiwi here that's been uh, tortured. I actually, oopsie, I actually forgot about this and I forgot to water it. It was hiding somewhere. And now I soaked it in rainwater, but I kind of like those, the leaves, I mean the leaves, the roots, they sort of just go aerial roots like that. Oh, I think it's, it's very dreamy on a beautiful pot. That would make a beautiful arrangement. Look at that. But oh, anyway, so if I have the time, I'll do a video arrangement of that one, but I have no time. And I have so many things to do, so I don't know when I'm going to get to it. Okay, so hello, Ionium Kiwi. Ionium Kiwi, they go dormant in winter. And it's sort of reverse. And then they come back in spring and summer. They become all red. Most Ioniums are actually asleep when it's hot. There you go. So that one is the reverse. So Ionium Ionium kiwi, kiwi, is reverse. And look how fat this Graptopetalum ellen, okay? So this is now, I've only, I've all, always known this as Daruma Shure. But Daruma Shure, Shure, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> ellen is a much better name. So Graptopetalum ellen, nice and fat and chubby. Needs a clean up and this one, I don't even know if I want to take that off. But, ah, uh, lily pad, lily pad. In Tagalog, if we say lily pad ka, it means, are you going to fly away? Oh, sige, lumipad ka na. Lumipad ka na. <laughs> oh, no, we don't want you to go lipad. We'll just, <laughs> ayon yung lily pad. Oh, yay! All the Filipinos saying she can speak Tagalog. Aba, siyempre, Filipino po tayo. O sige. I just said translate. Yes, of course. I'm a Filipino. Ako ay Filipino. Hala, komanta na. O sige, tama na. That's enough. Okay, where's my coffee? I lost my coffee. Where's my coffee? Here. The reason why, okay, my little vlog, vlog, oh, plectantos, um, Plectranthus, okay. I like saying that Plectranthus neochylus, lobster flower. Lobster flower. It kind of looks like a lobster claw, isn't it? It smells so nice. Hang on, hang on. Let's go smelly, smelly vision, smelly vision. Okay, I, I touch, I touch. <laughs> oh, minty. Exactly what sort of mint. Don't ask me. Ah, oh, it's nice. So it's mint. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mint. And thyme, that's it. It's a combination of mint and thyme. Uh, I think they call this a Vicks plant, but I've got three different ones of them, or four. Can't remember. I have to, to put everything sort of in one area. Oh, they're not frost hardy, so they just came in from being grown inside. And then now they're all out here. Oh, okay. This is, what are you? Cactus. Are you the Easter cactus? It's budding up. New leaves are forming. Or are you flowering? I don't know. I don't think it's flower. I think it's a new leaf. This one. I bought this one for $4.50. $4.50. Okay. Now it was in a smaller, small, tiny pot. And it's getting big now. I. This is an aloe. Uh, no specific name. Just aloe. And... You can see I forgot to water it, dried up. I buy things and I put them away and to try and acclimatize them and then I forget. See, before I put them out in the sun and as it turned out now, it's out here in the shade. So this is my shady area and there's a couple of plants missing there. 
because I already planted them in bigger pots. So uh, those two pots there is my plectrantos, that's where they used to live. And then now they're big pots and they were only like tiny, like this big. And look how big that is now. Okay, so I can see 10 minutes, 10 minutes, Lego time clock. The reason why I'm here is because, oh, this one. Klenya Vulcans is about to flower. This is a 40-year-old plant. 40-year-old. This is the original plant that lady I bought from, brought back from England. So, and then I got her from Queensland. And then now she's here in Canberra. So she's not a noxious weed, by the way. And I meant to expose, see the codex or little bulby thing. Or two of them are meant to expose it. But anyway, I've already taken two cuttings. One I've given away and one is I'm still growing somewhere. And okay, the reason why I'm here, just to get on with this quick. So this is the condition that my plant is in after we had a lot of rain. It still rained a little bit yesterday. Hang on, I'll just flick that over there. Okay, so you can see that... They are very healthy and this is a very compact blue metal, a chivria blue metal, so beautiful. Those little run, red things that's running around, can you see that? Just a little insect. I leave them alone because, I don't know, they, when you squash them, they go red. So I reckon, oh hang on, oh, I'm sorry. No. He ran away, got away. Okay, never mind. And I reckon they're probably <laughs> responsible for coloring up my succulents. So someone had a question about how do you deal with fungus? And look, I found some fungus. <laughs> there, look at that. I, I opened it up yesterday. I had a look. I had a peep yesterday. And look, I got fungus. Fungus. Okay, how do you deal with fungus? Look at those little hairy things. You see them? Okay. I don't before because I haven't experienced them. But as I found out now, there you go, you get to find out as well. And hot from the press and this is... <laughs> okay, see, they're all doing that or growing because of too much water too much water there you go see and also air circulation so these plants here are all clumped up okay so now even here you can see there's some fungus there growing in between so which means if moisture or too much water and no air circulation Combine those two together, you get fungus. You get some fungus. Okay. And the uh, best cause of action, I don't like using chemicals, pesticide, insecticide. I prefer to use the natural method. So in this case, I would probably put some pepper. <laughs> I don't know. But no, I wouldn't. So with this one, all I would do for now, okay, for now, because I'm going to have to do some research first to see if there's any alternative or organic alternative for treating fungus. But, oh, hang on, I'm just removing some dead things as well here. And look here, so dried up and uh, only, and look at that, see, the plant is sort of, and I also have, okay, um, I bet you I've got some. Oh, bird. Bird's been hacking into it. Look. Um, eating it. Now, if we remove this. Oh, it's a worm. Look at that. There's a little worm. Look at the little worm eating. It's a jumping worm. Oh. Isn't Mother Nature? Oh, look at that. It jumps. Did you see that? Did you see that? It's jumping. It's jumping. Look. It's a jumping worm. I'm sorry, worm. I'm sorry. Okay. So I would just separate this, remove some of the plants in here. Hang on, I'll take this weed out as well. And give them some air. Because I reckon that's what it is. So air circulation. So while you're here, look, I'm just going to open them up like so. And transplant them. See, I didn't even see there's weeds inside there. So really goes to show that I should do 
<laughs> less video and work on my garden more because lately I have been neglecting them because I have been hang on okay just busy busy doing videos oh okay there you go so that's it let it dry up and then hopefully uh, that should be okay because it's all a matter of air circulation and I'm gonna put this out as well into uh, the air we're still forecast to get more rain for the next three days okay so now I'll just uh, hang on I'm gonna lose that tweezer again and I'm gonna spend an hour looking for them so airflow down in the bottom you got this so air circulation is important and so I'm just gonna leave this here for a while because I think it's threatening to rain again the sun's still sort of partially out but anyway uh, if I could get to it today then I will transplant them remove some of the plant at least give them space especially this area here I should really take out this one's here. I should really transplant them because they're really too old for the soil that they're in. So what I have them in is just my sieved master succulent soil mix, which is not really healthy enough for them. It doesn't have enough nutrients and therefore it's evident on this blue metal that I have here. Although they're beautiful, I would actually rather have them look like that. So I do want to keep uh, I'm actually growing them so I can put them in pretty pots because they grow quite big if they're in a healthy soil big and ugly I think they look prettier like that and my little created self-created variegated plant is growing here beautifully and look at that that's a leaf propagation that turned out completely different than the mother and father I can see a lot of the mother Monroe in it, but I can't see traces of the hybrid Black Prince, which is a Willy Wonka. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? See, I can see the white, chubby, and sort of half. It sort of looks like uh, Pachytoides Supreme, but that is just like a fat, fat... Um, PVN, that's all. That's the only thing I could describe it to. Isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. If only you would grow really big like that and imagine that that color on that size. Oh, heaven. This is how cold it is. <laughs> the fly is not moving. Look at that. Hello, hello. Wake up. There you go. <laughs> They're dormant.